everyone, welcome to the sixth and final part of my Monster High collection video. Um, so we'll start off with my Monstrous Rival set. So we have, in this set, we have Draculaura and Monica Decay. Monica Decay, I believe, is the daughter of a zombie. You can see she's got worms coming out of her ears. The little details on her are fantastic. I love all the details on Monica. She's got a little rib cage as her necklace there. Little worms as earrings. You can see she's got brains on her feet. Yeah, she's called Monica Decay. That's it. So that's her. And then we've also got Draculaura in that set. This was a new set. And it was a two pack of dolls, yeah, and they're called the Monstrous Rivals. So that's those two. Next, we have the Brand Boo Students. So, first, we have Kirsty Trollson. She's one of the Brand Boo Students. She's got her little hat on here with the horns on it. She's got her blue and purple hair. She's got a little pixelated troll on the front of her jumper there. She's got troll ears and she's got little shoes she's a smaller doll she's about the same size as Howleen Kirsty is so that's her then next for the Brambo students we have Batsy Claro Batsy has her wings at the back there and she has green and white hair it's all caught up in her wings at the minute isn't it Batsy There we are. She has a lime green and black colour scheme with a little bit of magenta on there on her shorts. She's got these little ruffles. She's a really nice doll. I do like this set of dolls. Yeah, they're called the Brand Boo Student. She's got a white bat on her headpiece there. There's a little white bat on her waist there. And she has, like I say, her wings. And then finally for the Brand Boo students, we have Issy Dawn Dancer. She's one of my favourite. Love Issy Dawn Dancer. Love the colour of her hair. Love the colours of her outfit and the patterns on there. Love her. They look like little dream catchers on her shoes. I think they do anyway. She's a gorgeous style. She's shedding a bit though, is uh, Izzy. She's shedding quite a bit actually. Aren't you Izzy? Yeah. Gorgeous. There's a little dream catcher on the side of her headband as well. Look. Next, I have my Scream and Sugar two pack of dolls. So we have Nephra. Look how gorgeous Nephra is. She's got blue and purple hair this time. She's wearing blue and purple trousers with a bit of black detailing on and a sheer gold top. She has her gold shoes. And then we have the beautiful Scream and Sugar Amanita Nightshade. She's in her signature black and purple colours with her green body and she has on some black shoes. And that's those two. And she's got a like a flower in her hair and in the middle of the flower you can see like a, a face. Can you see that? Yeah. Next I have my headless headmistress and her horse who is called Nightmare. So here's Nightmare the horse. He's all blue with his purple saddle and his little skeletons on either side. And then here is the headless headmistress. Headmistress Goodblood, she's called. She's got on her long coat and her black trousers and black boots. And she's wearing like a shirt and tie underneath there. So that's headmistress Glood, Glood, Goodblood. And her head does pop off because she's the headless headmistress. That's her. So she can take her head on and off quite easily, she can. Then I have Wave 2 2 pack Draculaura, but I do only have the Draculaura. I don't have the Claude that's supposed to come with her. Here she is. Here's her pink and black hair. She's got pink, black, and yellow earrings in. She's got yellow buttons on her dress. She's got polka dot tights on and she's got black, pink and yellow shoes. Lovely. Yeah, for some reason I only have her. I don't have the cloth that's supposed to, supposed to go with that two pack, just the Draculaura. 
Next I have my Scare and Makeup 2 pack. So I've got Claudine and Viperine. You can see that this time Viperine has blue snakes instead of pink in her hair and she's got blue lips. She has on this blue headband which literally she's got a hole in the side of her head and then this headband has got a, if you can see, it's got a little thing there that literally goes into her head to hold it in position. So that's the Viperine. She's got on her fabulous blue shoes. Look at those shoes, honestly. And then we've got the Claudine. She also is a really gorgeous doll with her green and purple hair. And then she has on her spiky purple shoes. So that's the Scare and Makeup 2 pack. Then I have yet another two pack. This time it's Gulia and Slow Mo. I love this pack. This is the Love Is Not Dead two pack. So we've got Gulia with her glasses on. Look at her earrings. They're like hands, skeleton hands. On her dress, she's got the same skeleton hands and she's got hearts that are made of, up of rib cages. She's got her blood red shoes on that are dripping with blood. And then we have Slow Mo with his tuxedo on. You can see the rib cage there. You can see the hands there. And then he's got his spider webs on the back of his shoes. Look at the size of them hooves. Crikey, he's got some big trotters on him, hasn't he? And Slow Mo also comes with this little bouquet of brains to give to Gulia. Look at that. <laughs> so that's the Love Is Not Dead 2 pack. Next I have my Fierce Rockers. I've got five of these dolls. Three of them came in a pack. So the three that came in the pack are Claudine with her guitar there. Look at those shoes. Love her and love her black, love her purpley, purple and lilac hair as well. Love that. So that's the Claudine. Then Venus came in the three pack as well. Venus has got her drumsticks and she plays, here's her drums, they do come on a stand as well. Here's the Venus with her shaved head, her neck piece, the vines on her legs and her purple shoes. And then the third one of the three pack is Ginifier. Ginifier has her keyboard there. She's got fabulous green hair with a lime green on this side. She's got red like fan earrings with tassels on. Look at her outfit, love it. And then she's got her fabulous shoes. And then there's two more of the Fierce Rockers. So we've got Catty, who is a singer. She's got her microphone with her. Look at her outfit. She's got one leg on her trousers and one not. Yeah, sure what that's all about. Honestly, Catty. Very rock and roll, isn't it, eh? One leg on your trousers. Might try that myself, yeah. <laughs> so there's Catty. And then the final Fierce Rockers doll I have is Torrelai. And Torrelai is a singer too. She's got her microphone. Look at that neck piece, neck and shoulder piece she's got on. Fabulous, and she's got some black killer heel boots on. So that's the Fierce Rockers. Then I have my Garden Ghoul. So the first one of the Garden Ghouls is Teresa Thorn Willow. I actually got her for £10 when I was on holiday a few years ago. And she is a, a tree, she's called Teresa, and you can wind her up, she can grow up. And when she grows, her, her um, vines go up and down. She's also got little bugs and things that hang from these vines. Yeah, she can grow up and then you can wind it down again. She has a switch on the back. At the bottom, inside her trunk, you can see, you can open up her trunk to see her feet there and you can close it up as well. And she can hang, here can sit little, little, um, the smaller, garden goals and she can hang things from all these vines and that she's fabulous so that's Teresa Teresa Thorn Willow next we have Torrelai Torrelai's a regular size but she's got like these glasses on that make her look like a bug 
she's got bug glasses and she's got wings and look at this lovely hair she's got crimped orange hair with this like emerald green in it fabulous that's Torrelai and she has on these orange shoes then we have the Twyla with her wings she's got some fronds on top of her head some like bug fronds I don't know what you call them antennae and then she's got her dress on with all the bugs on it she's got a little net over piece and then she's got her magenta shoes on that's Twyla then we have Cleo look at Cleo's wings aren't they lovely can you see them yeah look at her face she's got antennae on her glasses as well but she's still got her lovely gold shoes on she's got flies on the front of them though or bees something some kind of insect on the front of them there so that's Cleo lovely then we move on to the teeny tiny one so we've got Lumina who is a little firefly she's sitting on a little thing they, they come sitting on a little stool because they're not articulated in the knee and they can't they can't actually sit unless they're sitting on that yeah that's like her stand and these are the ones that will clip into trees as well into those clips then we've got Beatrice who is a bee you can see she's got her beehive on the bottom there with the bees and then she's got her antennae at the top she's got her bees tail at the back there she's sitting on a little beehive as well look at her shoes mm -hmm. so cute and she's got a little button headband on look that was Beatrice and she does have wings too there's her wings and then the last one is little Wingrid who is a firefly she's got look at her she's got four arms and two legs because she's an insect yeah she's a a dragonfly that's her look at her tiny little face and look at all the detail they've put into her look on her arms and her wings it's just amazing it is honestly and then finally for the garden gulls we have these these are the little bugs that fit that hang off of trees so there's this fly thing here there's this one here if you look in the middle of that look you can see the face and eyes look how good is that and then on the other side it just looks like a moth there's this little flower that'll hang on there there's this spider web there's this flower and if you look on the other side right in the middle you can see a skelet same with this one it just looks like a flower on that side but on the other side there's a skelet in the middle and then another little flower they all hang off of trees so that was the garden balls then on display in my bedroom I have my vinyl figures here we go here are those got quite a few of the little vinyl figures towel on the end there then I have my 17 inch dog. two Goliapes, one is the shriek wrecked one on the end with the ship on her head, then the original Goliope, then we've got Draculaura, Frankie, Elizabeth and Cleo. And then sitting on the end there is my Maddie Hatter from Ever After High. Yeah. Next I have a few box dolls to share with you. So first I have this Ari Hauntington. Uh, it just says daughter of ghosts on the back so it doesn't say what line she's from or anything but you can get Frankie and Draculaura in this line as well so that's her then I have Gould Sports Spectra I also do have these two yeah she's a tennis player you can see she's got her racket and everything and her visor on that's spectra then i have freak de chic twyla love her look at that 
Isn't she fabulous? Absolutely love her. And then I have my three inbox collector dolls that I usually have on display. You can see the gap at the back there in the corner. So first I have the Skeleta. Then I have the Lady Gaga blowing her bubble gum. Can you see that? Yeah, she's blowing her bubble gum. <laughs> she does come with another outfit as well. Yeah, she's called Zombie Gaga. Love it. Absolutely love her. That's her. And then finally, we have the fabulous Draculaura. They're the only three that I own of the collector dolls, but I love them. Absolutely love them. Draculaura, I think, is my favourite out of those three. So that's the collector dolls. So that was my Monster High collection. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.